from coast to coast and around the world, it's time to praise the Lord. on Praise the Lord from the vacation capital of the world, exciting Central Florida, as we bring you anointed pastors, evangelists, teachers, authors, and other special guests with testimonies and teachings and music to glorify God as we lift up Jesus Christ as Lord. Welcome again to this very special Praise the Lord, coming to you from the vacation capital of the world, Orlando, Florida. I'm Angela Court McKenzie, and delighted to come and get to spend the next few minutes with you where we're just going to praise the Lord. Just gathering around the piano, singing great old hymns at the church, and maybe some new songs too, and then seeing what God has for you today. The Bible says, come into his presence with thanksgiving in your heart and enter into his courts with praise. So I invite you to sing along or just listen and relax and be blessed by the sounds of praise. Amen. Mm -hmm. When I think about the Lord, how he saved me, how he raised me, how he filled me with the Holy Ghost, and how he
nothing like music that glorifies God. And I want to just say a very special thank you to Miss Jan, Matt and Lori for just opening up this beautiful network to the preaching of the gospel and to the music that is worthy of our God. Psalm 100 talks about making a joyful noise unto the Lord and that's what we are called to do. Amen. And I love singing. Ever since I've been a little girl, I would sit at the piano and just sing. And I love the new songs. But I was raised uh, kind of in a time when they still sang the hymns. So I thought, maybe you would like to hear a great old hymn of the church today. What about this one? Great is thy faithfulness, O God my
If you know it, sing along. Hallowed be
love that song, love that verse, directly the words of Jesus. Let me read to you from the scriptures. Psalm 100. Shout with joy to the Lord, O earth, and worship the Lord with gladness and come before him. You know you have an open invitation to come to the presence of the Lord any time. Call upon him whenever you need him. He's always there. Sing with joy. Acknowledge that the Lord is God and he has made us and we are his. Folks, we did not come from animals. We did not come from slime or some particle that spun off the earth. But our lives were made with purpose. And Genesis 1 tells us that in the beginning, God created. So it says, we are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name for the Lord is good. His unfailing love continues forever and his faithfulness reaches to every generation. Oh, our prayer today is that God would touch our children and our grandchildren. Amen. It's not just that they would hear of him, but that he would touch their lives and that Christ would be formed in them. Oh, I feel the spirit of prayer. Let's just take a moment and pray for our children and our grandchildren. Father, the songs that we've been singing today are songs from past generations. The words and the truth is eternal. But we have a heart that our children and our grandchildren will know you just like those writers of great is thy faithfulness those old great songs father i pray for the children and the grandchildren of every viewer today holy spirit visit them give them a hunger for tr truth and for righteousness but godly people in their path to help them lord we pray lord for our children that they will rise up they will rise up and become men and women of God and carry the torch. Father, if those watching today have any who have gone astray, we should take great hope because Jesus shared the story of the prodigal son, but that the father just kept looking for him. And when the son came to himself, he came back. And so I pray that, Lord, for every viewer and every partner of this ministry, that they're giving, Father, but someone who has a heart for missions will bring a great reward to them and to their own lives, to their own families. Comfort those who are watching today. Let them cast the burden of a parent with a child that's not walking with you. We can't carry that. Let them carry it right to the cross and leave it there. Thank you, Father, for hearing our prayers. Thank you, Father, for touching our children and our grandchildren bringing them close to you for your glory in Jesus name Alas and indeed my Savior and in my sovereign God would he devote that sacred head for such a
every person that's watching today. Let them rise in praise and feel the change breaking because of the mighty name of Jesus. We love you. We thank you. Thank you for this, your support of this wonderful ministry. And we'll see you next time right here on Praise the Lord. But until then, keep singing. Praise the Lord. Yes. He can work. This program has been brought to you through the prayers and contributions of our faithful partners throughout North America and the world.